No. You guys are, you guys are live now. Oh, we're live? Cool. Okay, oh. so uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, this is Strides, joined by J-Dog. is continuing uh, the Black Lives Matter Fights for Rights charity tournament. Uh, I'm just really glad that we had opportunity to do another um, charity event and just bring the community together for a good cause. So... Exactly. There's been so many of those going around, but there's been so many things happening that we've had to talk about and we've had to help out the cause for. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the West Coast has to do because East Coast putting up some numbers, not to build up that rivalry or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just be, saying. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be great. I mean, it, of course, any amount is appreciated, but if we could reach that 10,000 goal by the end of the stream, that would be amazing. Absolutely. All right, it looks like we have our first match. Oh, and Ajax coming through with $25. Thank you, my man. All right, so our first match coming up. Oh, it's actually going to be MVD versus PV. Nice. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a MVD play. Honestly. Yeah, it's been kind of a minute. I mean, I guess he's been out there grinding because you know the guy is always um, labbing, always talking about the game, thinking about the game. So, you know, he's always going to put on a bit of a show. For sure. Especially since, you know, we don't uh, get to see that many, like, top level snakes lately outside of, like, MVD and a few others. So, it's always appreciated to see him put in that work. Yeah. Kind of but a dying PV. breed. Ooh. PV's going in. This matchup is. Uh, of course, Snake Eye has the struggle getting comboed to, you know, hell or high water for most characters. But Doggo's combo game is super good. So, uh, you kind of see Immunity taking tons of percent. But uh, if, if a Falco doesn't get like that, you know, up to back air to secure the kill, Snake can uh, definitely outlive Falco. You know? Oh. 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 Case he, in point. <laughs> yeah, you called it. Yeah, he, you, you always got to be uh, watching out for that C4. Yeah, the thing is with Falco, because he jumps so high, sometimes you can pull the screen up and like you even forget where it is for a quick second. Oh, nice timing. Yeah, that was attackable. I, I messed up the tag earlier. It looks like it's Nexus versus MVD. Oh, okay. Didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that either. Yeah, yeah Nexus. Um, so Kyle, Falco player. Definitely familiar with him. All right. So this is one of your guys. So like, I mean... Does he only have Falco? He also plays little Toon Link and I think Zero Suit, but... Okay. Oh, that mm. Nikita is so good. Yeah, I think majority of the time he's playing Falco. I definitely agree with it in this matchup because, like you were saying earlier, like Falco absolutely runs over Snake in the early game, but it looks like MVD is just so good at staying alive, just sticking to his opponent and setting up traps so that you can nickel and dime him so that he never gets too much advantage. Definitely. This is a great stage for him as well. Uh, the platforms help Fago's combos uh, be extended. Oh, like that. Oh, that hit? <laughs> yeah, that was... I mean, he caught MVD jumping off the legs. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you also have to watch out for the uh, grenade setup on the platforms too. In the C4. Yeah, and these mortars aren't doing any favors either. MVD being a bit liberal in his usage of them there. Oh, I think he has the grenade still? No? Oh, uh, MVD is like one of the few snakes I know that uses that down smash all the time, but not sure what happened there. I think the, the jump got snagged. Yeah, that whole like five seconds was weird because MVD definitely blew himself up twice trying to <laughs> like pull out the Nikita. And then like Falco just kind of decided to fall. I don't I don't know what would really happen there. Yeah, unfortunately. It's fortunate that he's uh, not like Fox's upbeat. He has like that half stage distance. <laughs> Falco without a jump is even worse than Fox without a jump off stage. Absolutely. In that regard. I don't even think he went for an up B. I think he, I just saw him fall. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. When you're not feeling, you're not feeling it, I guess. All right. So off to game number two. MVD opening up pretty strong there, but I mean, what'd you expect? Yeah, MVD uh, definitely got to be one of the higher seeded players in this tournament. I don't know how much online he plays, but like if we just go by his you know, offline results, definitely one of the better players. Oh, no doubt. For like nearly a decade now too. Yeah. Crazy enough. With this character yeah. too. 
Oh, this is pretty much similar to what we saw in the early game last time, but we all know how last game ended. Let's see if Nexus can uh, finish his plate this time around. Definitely, because again, he's racking up all his percent, but if he lets Snake get back to the ground without securing the stock, it can just be super bad. I can see right now. Oh no. Okay, okay nice crazy. Like he needed that, yeah. Because if he got blown up there, that would have just been the most demoralizing thing that could have possibly happened. Okay. Oh, I think he had enough time to add a shield up soon after that. Yeah, and again, MVD is staying alive. So not the exact oh. same thing. The exact same oh, thing. No. Let's stop one lap time. It was actually in the same exact place, too. <laughs> Crazy. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah I think uh, I think Nexus there got a little bit over the Celis, you know, keeping MVD in the air, just lost track of that two four yet again. Yeah, but I do like how Nexus is um, keeping the fire going in, just like that, running up to him, up smash. So many times, MVD was jumping out there, pulling a grenade, and that time it looked like he dropped it a little bit early, or maybe even dropped it during the hit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice use of the shine. That is so much percent, and it's continuing the pressure here. Gonna try uh, to oh, slow. No. Not like this. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> my God. I love the idea. I love the idea. But he had to uh, time his down there when he got a little bit higher from his uh, Nikita. He didn't have to go that low. But, uh, man, that's rough. He had all the momentum going in his favor. Yeah. And now, and now he's just taking so much percent from explosions. Or MVD is just, yeah, he's racking it up. Yeah, this is starting to look like a wrap. That was a lot of momentum to him. Granted, if he gets a stock now, um, he could do one of those early strings and make it essentially even, but MVD, if there's one thing we saw about him in the set so far, it's that he knows how to live. Exactly. And when you're in this position where, you know, you're trying to get the lead back, you tend to run into more explosions, more grenades. It can be very frustrating to deal with, but okay. nice catch on the landing. 90's kind of scary as Falco, but he can make it up if he can get in. Yeah, inch by inch, life's a cinch, so we just gotta get that first inch. Oh, 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 my oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we out. Okay. Life was not a cinch, life was very difficult there.